Hello guys, another video here. I'm DJ Lucius and today's video is about feeding my beta fry. Not my fry, my betas. Because I have some fry in here also, but they're getting older, as you can tell. And I have about three different spawns in here. From since I first started to, I would say up to about five, six months maybe, of fry. The age, that is. So what you're looking at right now is feeding time. There's a container in there with a beef um, beef heart mix that I made myself. And uh, I put it in this container so it doesn't go all over the tank. And you know. So they like it. They get a chance to pick at it and eat it. Um, I'm gonna give them about seven minutes to finish that if it's not finished in seven minutes I am going to take it out so yeah this is what it looks like feeding time all right from a previous video I made um, I had a lot of uh, good feedback and people were asking me about the fry that I had from a previous video and those guys from a previous video they already grew up and some of them in here right now if I can spot them I'll show you If I get one that's isolated, I'll show you how big they have gotten. Okay. Okay, I see one in the corner. And, uh, yeah, okay, here we go. All right, here we go. I'm going to find it right now. So. Oh, goodness. Um, here we go. This one. Where you at, bro? Right. This is the size of those fry that I had in a previous video. You can still see they have the juvenile stripe, the horizontal stripe on the side. But this is one of them. That's a female. She's in the back. And if you look really carefully, the ones with the stripe on the sides are the ones from that particular spawn. I have about 12 of them in here that I kept. Um, the rest I just called off. These belong to this male. Right? He is like a giant marble. I'm sorry, butterfly. <coughs> And yeah, he is about nine months, maybe a year old, or maybe more. Yeah, he's like one of the first guys I purchased at uh, Petco, I think it was. Yeah, one of my first guys. So yeah, that's a huge, he's a huge beta. He's huge, like five inches. And so, the babies, the fry, they were a uh, marble, I'm sorry, butterfly with a crown tail red female. So uh, these fry have crown tail reduction. That means the crown is not all the way, it's not as uh, stringy as it's, it's more, it's just you can know, you know it's a crown tail when you see it, but it's not as long and tethered like regular crown tails you know they have that they have like um, long entrails right these crown tails don't have long entrails they have just the crown and that's it so yeah you're doing pretty well now below here is my black and black spawn that I made I have about 25 in here and um, they're looking pretty well. Now, like I suspected, the male is all super black, half moon, but still you have recessive genes in there. So some of the kids, uh, some of the fry are gonna have red in them, which is a recessive gene in that particular um, spawn. So yeah, and the mother who is up here, 
she is the half moon copper with a, with a yeah, tone of tail right there she is black half moon with copper and the male was super black half moon and yeah this is the fry right here they are doing very well right now they are eating a shrimp mix that I bought they are having a shrimp dinner tonight and I also feed them the beef heart mix but I also I alternate it the beef heart mix has a lot of garlic and cod liver oil and stuff in there that I blended so you can check that video out also I made a video about uh, making that food how I did it what I used and so yeah if you have any more questions for you guys uh, just let me know I'm DJ Lucius uh, hit subscribe hit comment comment if you want to comment uh, support the channel I love doing these videos and yeah thank you very much